Welcome to Pro 3, where every race is 30 minutes of nose-to-tail, door-to-door, fender-to-fender action. And between races, competitors chip in and help each other out. Pro 3 started right here in the Pacific Northwest, and not even a pandemic could stop it. In 1999, twins Wes and Ken Hill found their BMW E30 race cars no longer competitive in SCCA. So, they created a new class, Pro 3, in the International Conference of Sports Car Clubs, the largest sports car racing sanctioning body in the Northwest. Pro 3 raced provisionally in 2002 and as a fully sanctioned class in 2003 when Ken won the championship. Other pioneers, Lance Richard, Bob Mearns, Dale Bunick, Bill Spornitz, Michael Olson, and Greg Miller called themselves friends between checkered and green. There were just six drivers the entire first season. Today, Pro 3 averages over 20 cars per race. With the ground pounders, we've had 61 cars on the track. Yeah, it's competitive. And based on the 87 to 91 BMW E30, relatively affordable. Race-ready cars sell for as little as $12,000 engines last for years, and drivers receive $25,000 a year in cash prizes and discounts from sponsors like Toyo Tires, Garagistics, Advanced Auto Fabrication, 425 Motorsports, Racer on Rails, and Don Kitch's Performance Racing, the Northwest premier high performance and competition driving school. Most drivers are hooked after one lap, like Daniel Huffington, fourth in 2020, and her husband Brian Berkowitz, champion in 2018 and 2019, both aerospace engineers. Coley Tipton, veteran open wheel racer, second his Pro 3 rookie year. Corey Peters, second in 2018 and 2021, fast, expressive hands. Matt Lowell, auto shop owner, likes anything he can race, jump, or hit. Andrew Michelle started racing motorcycles at age six. After several crashes, then kids, he made the move to four wheels. Jeff McCaffrey, fast, daring, green. Firefighter Kyle Byers, could be champ if he raced more than twice a year. Scott Eckert, in just his second year, he'll finish third in 2021. Youngsters Eddie Terrace, grad student, and Nick Harbaugh, airline pilot, working their way up the grid. College freshman Jack Houlihan shares a car with his dad, John. Architect Lance Richard, of the original four Pro 3 cars, his is the only one still racing. And me, Jim Sissel, voice guy, winner of the Chateau Bonzo.
Pro 3 is not your usual cutthroat racing, though trophies are still awarded to individuals. For the Pro 3 gang, this is more of a team sport, and that's what this story is all about. In February 2020, we started to film that story. Two weeks later, the pandemic hit. Good timing. But our sponsors stuck with us. Houlihan-Law.com Redmond Ridge Eye Care and Eyes on Sammamish LanceRichardArchitect.com Sovereign Vintage Racing Cascade Sports Car Club and John Byers Custom Auto. COVID delayed our first race at Portland International Raceway from April to June. Even then, no spectators, no socializing, and masks everywhere. The usual 16 race season was cut to six over just three weekends. And with the Canadian border closed, there'd be no championship points or trophies. Still, 23 Pro 3 cars showed up. Two less after this. Kevin Doyle takes the early championship lead, finishing second Saturday and Sunday. Bill Ecker won Saturday and Matt Lowell Sunday. In addition to conference races, Pro 3 gets invited to special races, like the NASCAR gas races, BMW's 100th anniversary at Laguna Seca, IndyCar in Edmonton, Alberta, and the Pacific Northwest Historics, which has raised over $10 million for Seattle Children's Hospital. Next, the 60th anniversary of Pacific Raceways and 50th of the International Race Drivers Club. IRDC President Coley Tipton went from last to second, nearly catching Kevin Doyle. Third through fifth, Jeff, Corey, and Brian. Sunday, it was Coley, Kevin, Corey, Jeff, and Danielle. PIR, August 14th. Again, it's over 100 degrees for the Dash for Kids, with no spectators and no kids. But Matt is back. He wins Saturday and Sunday. Then it's Jeff, Josh, Nick, Bill, and Andrew. I was fourth, till this happened. When the Spokane race was canceled, we staged a closed track day shoot there, just for fun. Twenty twenty was tough. Conferences, clubs, and tracks lost money. Some racers and workers lost their jobs. And with 132 non-points, Matt lost his chance of a championship. Twenty twenty one, COVID's still here, but outdoors masks are gone and fans are back. The first race at PIR, Scott Eckerd finishes fifth, passing the champ Brian Berkowitz. In qualifying, Corey Peters sets a new lap record of 120.5. In the race, he battles Chuck Early, but it's Matt who wins Saturday, is on pole Sunday, and wins again. Not even a goose could stop him, though he did duck. May 15th, Pacific Raceways. 28 Pro 3 cars, nearly half the total entries. Lots of spectators, too, thanks to the Avance Car Club. I did a thing. My right front strut broke and severed the brake line. The tow truck driver failed to secure my car, which smashed into his cab, and the entire bumper assembly was ripped off during unloading. Happy birthday to me. Dave Weller got stuck in the ditch. Corey forced Brad Greco on. Jeff McCaffer followed. Bruce Humberstone went way off. Nick makes a great move on Bruce Matar. And in a race called after just 12 minutes, Corey gets a love tap from Coley, the eventual winner. When Pro 3 started, the lap record at Pacific was 141. 
Sunday, Matt qualifies with a record 134.9. Second through eighth are within three tenths of a second. In the race, Coley puts it into the burn. After the restart, Scott slides through, while Brian and Danielle spend the day fighting. But Matt leads from start to finish. Only Jeff and Chuck even got close. Sean was fourth, and Scott seemed quite happy with fifth. Matt's now won three of the first four races. PIR, June 19th. Matt and Corey qualify within three one-hundredths of a second. In the race, it's a cluster. Matt holds on to win by three-tenths of a second for the entire race, followed by Jeff and Scott. Sunday, Corey's on pole, and after Matt misses a shift, Corey takes the win. Scott is third, Dave Weller fourth. 21 Pro 3 cars turn out for the 4th of July historics. Corey and Jeff won two races each, and Chuck and Josh won a piece. We got some great video, thanks to our sponsor, attorney John Houlihan. There were fans everywhere. 33 got to ride in mock races, as 11 Pro 3 drivers helped raise another $8,000 for children's. We raised 2,000 more for Children's when Racer on Rails brought seven Pro 3 cars for charity rides at Avance Fest, and Coley showed off his new Avance livery. July 17th, one year late, we celebrate the 51st anniversary of IRDC and 61st of Pacific Raceways with fans in the stands. Saturday, Scott, gridded second, finishes fourth behind Matt, Corey, and Brian. Sunday, Corey battles Scott and finishes second, but Matt was on fire. Chuck Hurley, too. Edda said went hard into the burn, but two days later, he's shopping for a new Pro 3 car. Just like Jim Butterworth did when he flipped and totaled his car. Same with Andrew Michelle but not Rob Scholl. He's building his new Pro 3 car. Yep, they're hooked. Dodging the carnage, winners were Corey, Matt, Scott, and Brian. PIR, August 14th. For the second year in a row, it's over 100 degrees for the Dash for Kids, with no spectators, no kids, and 15 Pro 3 cars. Scott flies by when Matt misses a shift. Scott and Jeff go bump. Jeff goes off in turn four and seven. As I try to avoid DFL, here comes Jeff. Off three times, he still finishes fifth. Scott Eckert makes his move. At the checkered flag, it's Corey, Matt, Scott, Chuck, and Jeff. Sunday, Matt pulls away. Scott and Corey go at it like coogs and dogs. At the finish, it's Matt, Corey, Scott, Nick, and Jeff, with Matt leading by 13 points going into the last race weekend. August 28th, Ridge Motorsports Park. With the new Sky Bridge, from the upper grandstands, fans can see almost half the track. Corey must qualify P1 to keep his hopes alive, which he does, beating the lap record by almost a full second. In Saturday's race, Scott gets by Matt, and Kevin Doyle makes a charge. Then Corey locks up. As Scott chases Kevin Doyle, Matt passes them both, the move that seals the championship. That evening, there's much to celebrate as Matt's wife, Nancy, prepares her famous taco dinner. Meet Charlie. Sunday, Danielle starts a grass fire. Scott Thompson pushes Will Kellogg out of the way and comes down on Matt King who's dodging Andrew Michelle. Andrew watches Nick Carbaugh and Bryce Scott tangle in the Group 5 race. Josh Voigt would collect them both. 
You know these drivers by now. Let's just watch them race. Flag, it's Matt, Corey, and Scott. Just how they finished the season. Though it may be with an asterisk, Matt wins his second Pro 3 championship in a row. Twenty twenty two. At the first race at PIR in April, twenty eight Pro 3 drivers show up. 25 finished Saturday's race on a very wet track. Nick Carbaugh is a surprising fourth after surviving an attempted three wide pass in turn 10 behind Matt, Corey, and Scott. Sunday, the rain lets up and 27 cars finish. Corey qualifies with a record 120.3 and sets a race lap record of 120.7 followed by Kyle Byers, Matt, Scott, and Dirk Groneveld. At Pacific Raceways in May, in Saturday's race, it's Matt, Corey, Chuck, and Scott. Sunday, Matt out qualifies Corey by two one hundredths of a second. But in the race, Corey takes off, lapping slower cars by lap six. It's wet and treacherous. When Nick lost control, Chuck barely avoided hitting him. Matt didn't and suffered major damage, but he recovered for the win, followed by Corey, Chuck, and Scott, the masters of racing in the rain. No easy feat, as Dirk demonstrates. Next, Spokane, a three-race weekend. No rain here, but lots of wind, and 25 Pro 3 cars. Friday, we're with Dirk and P6. Matt was on pole Friday and Saturday. After some great battles, it's Kyle, Matt, Chuck, Corey, Scott, and Dirk. Saturday, we're with Josh Boyd, P5, but Kyle wins again. Ahead of Chuck, Corey, and Scott, Josh battles Bryce Scott to finish eighth. In the Enduro, I give Cody a point by. Yeah, Cody Smith, the legend. 2013 Pro 3 champ. He co-drove the Enduro with me. And with Adam Harris in Mike Olson's car. Yep, Cody drove two cars in the same race. Sunday, Matt King dive bombs me in the first corner but I get him back the same lap. Top five, Kyle, who won all three races. Corey, Ryan, Chuck, and Scott. By the end of the weekend, I was so tired, I couldn't pull the handbrake. June, PIR. A mishap or two in qualifying. Drying up, but still slippery for Saturday's race. Won by Chuck, Corey, Matt, Scott, and Brian. Sunday, Corey's on pole. Chuck forces through, but blocks up, and Corey wins by nearly the entire front straight, followed by Chuck, Scott, Kyle, and Matt. After hours, there may have been a few shenanigans. July 16th, Pacific Raceways, Pro 3's 20th anniversary, which has got to make it the most successful regional production-based amateur road racing class ever. So, Wes and Ken sponsored the IRDC Spectacular Extravaganza Race. 
they covered entry fees and a $25 gas discount. Don and Donna Kitch came up with major cash drawings. Dave Weller and Phil Oliva did publicity. Jeff McCaffrey, the mock race and paddock. Daniel Hovington, the swag booth. Bill Ecker took care of licenses for drivers who hadn't raced in years. And Nick Carbaugh and I got Craig Brooks of Wren Films to shoot it all. Over 100 Pro 3 cars have been built. 79 are still around. In Saturday's Group 1 race, 46 took the starting grid. Winners were Corey, Matt, Scott, Coley, and Brian. In the special race, a record 49 Pro 3 cars started and 47 finished. What a race. Like the usual Pro 3 race on steroids. But there were no major incidents and only one full course yellow. At the finish, it was Andrew Newell, Corey, Brian, Kyle, Matt and Scott, all within one second for the entire race. As Scott said, you could have covered us all with a blanket. Sunday, it was Andrew, Chuck, Coley, and Corey. So for the championship, it's Corey, 205 points, Matt, 191, Scott, 171, and Kyle, 170. There are three more race weekends to go, but after two and a half seasons, our film must end here. on track, we go out and race hard, um, and then we come in, we high five and drink a couple of beers and do it again the next day. Just like they've been doing since 2002, when Wes and Ken taught us to give no quarter on track, but between races to help each other out and share our love for the sport. What makes Pro 3 successful is all the people contributing to it. It's not one person, it's just everybody. Everybody makes it, makes it fun. Because racing is fun. Racing with lots of friends is even better. Race for the scale. In the midst of a pandemic, Northwest racers, workers, and fans raised over $20,000 to help promote the sport they love. This film is dedicated to every one of them.